Your cuppers, you got your coffees, you've got well, it's good morning here for some of you. It's not morning, but I said I'd, I'd be here this morning. I am just warming up because it's actually freezing today. It was supposed to be spring, but it's not spring right now. It is pretty wintry out there right now. So I've got my beanie on with my smiley face and, and that girl happening today. What's going on in your world? What's going on? How's, how's everything? What time is it where you are right now? It's, it's always really difficult for me to figure out. Welcome to everyone who's just recently joined. And I love you guys. You've been interacting so amazingly. But I'm just trying to warm up with this coffee, honestly. It's just really, really, really cold. And I wanted to let you know, fire has hit our skies, thankfully. So um, the moon is in Aries right now. So some of you might be feeling a little bit better today, a little bit more rambunctious today. Uh, it's 6.50 p.m. where you are, Jacqueline. Okay, so it is 9.49 a.m. here, or 9.50, so that's a big time difference, isn't it? I am, like, really enjoying seeing all your stuff. I'm really enjoying uh, all the interactions and the help that you guys are giving each other. But, you know, with Aries in the moon right now, you know, thankfully for me, yay, right? Triple fire sign needs some of that stuff in the celestial. Um... But, you know, charging ahead with uh, projects today is probably the best thing that are personal to you, interpersonal projects. Um, so if you want to actually get some get up and go, today's the day. Today's the day because, well, and tomorrow because it's, you know, the moon uh, will, Aries will be uh, in the moon for two days. So, and then we're heading off into some interesting weather, <laughs> celestial weather. So tell me what's going on in your world. What's going on? How have you been? I saw you yesterday. It's going to be really interesting because I haven't spent that much time with you guys. I'm always, you know, sporadically here and there, but you guys get to like, we get to chat every day now. So exciting. So exciting. So I did promise you that I'd take you around the cottage today. Um, but I don't know how to work this thing on a live and flip the th phone because you're on my phone right now. Um, so I don't know how to flip it. So I'm going to have to start another live to take you around the cottage. Um, maybe I'll take you around while I light all the altars. How's that? Is that a good thing? Can we do that? <laughs> Hi, Sandy, sweetheart. I am good. I am good. So we can probably do that um, a little later on. But I did want to uh, have a discussion with you guys because, you know, Aries, did anyone feel that shift of energy come in with, with Aries stationing into the moon? It was just for me like a... <sighs> I know, Super Mario Brothers level up. Like, it was just like, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> you just got the, the mushroom, you know? <laughs> it's just, yes, 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 yes. Um, so we've got, like, a lot of interesting stuff happening in the cottage today. Um, so yesterday was all the lives. I told you guys, yesterday was all the lives. I'll be seeing you live daily here, but I won't be live all the time. I've got... Um, uh, an Echoes in Eternity video going up on the YouTube channel today. So I'm just finishing editing that. Then I've got students all through to the afternoon. And then um, Robin, one of, uh, you know, your fellow Mystic Witches in here, dropped by yesterday uh, with an amazing basket full of her harvested um, rosemary. So, which is really important because, you know, it's really, <laughs> it's, interesting I can't grow enough rosemary like I have so much rosemary but I can't grow enough rosemary for what I need and what I utilize with my students and clients right so um so she's like I've got I've just you know harvested some rosemary do you want some rosemary and I'm like universe thank you <laughs> needed the rosemary <laughs> so um so I'll be I'll be uh, jarring that up and then using those stalks 
um, for some of the fire kindling uh, that's going to go into the Beltane um, fire. Uh, for celebrations this weekend. So I'd love to know what you guys are doing for uh, Samhain or Beltane respectively. I'd love to see some of your prep work in here. I'd love to see just anything, like really, like anything. Are you enjoying yourselves? Are you having a good time? Are you enjoying meeting each other and interacting with each other? I'm having a ball. I'm just, yeah, I'm having a ball. Um, so, you know, with the rest of the afternoon after that, it's Taco Tuesday. <laughs> so I'll be making tacos um, this evening. I love Taco Tuesdays. It's like one of my favorite things. Um, so we have Steak Mondays and Taco Tuesdays. And yeah, and then Wednesdays is a free for all. And I know, how random. We're just talking about random stuff in here, right? So, <laughs> and I think I'm frozen. I don't know what's happening. I can see that there's people in here. Hi, Renee. I can see Renee. Um, and Belinda. Hi, Belinda. Can you press little things so my my thing tells me that I'm not frozen? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But how about we do a tour? Like, I can jump off and restart this thing. Oh, I'm good. Yay, Renee. <laughs> Hi, Tori. Um, so, yeah. So, I'll jump off. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that with one hand. Like, light alters and take you around. How about I take you around and then I light all the altars <laughs> and we can have a chat about the things. What do you reckon? Hi, Laura. Hi, Lori. Laura and Lori and Tori. Oh my goodness. All in a row on my, on my screen. Um, do you guys have anything that you want to discuss today? I'm not frozen, Belinda. Woo. Oh, are you digging the wig today? This is, this is my fairy floss wig. I'm just like, and I've got the little, can you see the little unicorns? Here. <laughs> I've got another one here somewhere. Hang on. The little unicorns are here today. I know, mundane stuff. Can you see? <laughs> little unicorns. All the things! <laughs> Renee, yep, yeah, all the things. I, I'm going to run out of things to, like, chat about, unless you guys, like, you know, tell me what you want to talk about in these morning, hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, sessions. A tour sounds good. How about I do that? Let's do that. All right. I'm going to hop off and then I'm going to spin the thing around and then I'm going to take you. So I'm, you're going to hear me behind the phone as I take you around. Excuse the mess. I, I've been blending, right? I've been blending a lot. So um, there's stuff everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. But I'll see you in a minute, okay? I'm going to see you. Hello. I don't know. Am I back? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Are we back? I think we are. We'll see. So, we'll always start with the working altar. So the working altar at the moment is the spring altar. Look, you got a star around there. Can you see her? <laughs> I'm gonna wave to you. Hi. <laughs> I'm back, I'm back. I had a phone call, sorry guys. So that took a little longer than expected. Um, it's a busy morning, so we've hopefully now. So here's the springtime altar. I don't know. I don't. I haven't done one a YouTube video on this one uh, yet. So it like literally goes right up to the ceiling. <laughs> it kind of spreads itself all the way to the ceiling. Now hopefully you can hear me as well, because I can see what you're seeing, but I, I don't know if you can hear me. Can huh? like peek through the things. So little things happen, like, you know, you've got the little birdies everywhere in their nests and stuff. <laughs> and you've got little nests up there. So yeah, that's the, oh, that's really loud, isn't it? All right. Um, <laughs> that's my Halloween soundtrack. This is Bella Lugosi's dead. Um, so over here, I don't know how many, I probably haven't taken you through all of this stuff yet um, on any other videos. So you guys get to see this. Epona, yes, and we've got some of the crystals that I use like all the time, they have to be right next to me <laughs> so I can grab them as I need them, and then there's the altar, oh, the witch's hat, yep, the altar behind me, these are my quick workings like, you know, and there's Morrigan, and that's, Terry Foss has done that one, that's a beautiful picture, that was gifted by one of my students. 
That's my art over there. That's Hecate over there. And we've got the Earthly Alchemy little dragon. I'm sorry. I don't want to make you dizzy. So, here's where I keep things to hand as well. <laughs> to put in, uh, in working spaces when I need particular energies. For me, pomegranates, like the fruit of the gods. This is a dried pomegranate. Um, they hold so much energy and so much potency. Okay. You love it, Anne-Marie, yes. So, here are my uh, current oils at the moment. Tell me if I'm going too fast. I'm such a bad camera person. Okay, so you can see some of those oils, hopefully. <laughs> I love the soundtrack too. Um, and then we've got just with the coven and with my uh, clients and students, like these are the big jars of uh, resins up on this shelf. And then we've got the what I use predominantly on the bottom shelf here as well. So these are all like herbs and woods and roots in the big jars. And then I've got the sacred um, handmade incense blends down here, uh, incense blends, incense sticks. Cause sometimes, you know, it's easier to put a stick on if you like really need quick working. So these are all for different, um, these are all handmade now. So they're all, if I just need to send someone off with a quick working, <laughs> it's there. I don't think I've ever done as elaborate a tour. So here by, you can see outside, can you see outside? Um, so here by the window, is where I charge all the the bigger crystals, well, every crystal. And under here is a mirror, so it's reflection from the out, the reflection from the outside to the inside and beneath as well. So they get really well charged. Now let's go to the altars. That's what we were here for. So I'll light them after, because uh, I can't do this with one hand. So this is the Egyptian altar. Let me know if you can still hear me because I, I don't know whether I'm blocking the microphone or not. <laughs> um, so we've got um, Anubis and Horus and uh, we've got lots of Isis because I love Isis so much. And we've got Bast. Can you see down there? Now these are really amazing artifacts um, that I was given out oh, and my favourite mirrors. I love these mirrors. So these are soul mirrors resurrection mirrors hi I can see you <laughs> can you see me hi <laughs> so and then below I'm just gonna move this candelabra out the way so we can get down there <laughs> now I don't know uh, how many of you actually uh, follow um, the Grecian or Roman um, pantheons um, I do and I actually put them both on the same altar because as many of you will find they have different names but they, they are pretty much the same in fact the Romans pretty much took them from the Grecians right so we all know this so we've got um, Hecate we've got a lot of serpents for Hecate keys for her as well um, this is um, Diana slash Artemis because I do see her in dual aspect and Nick drew that and Nick uh, painted that for me and then we've got the offering bowl right there and look at Arachne you get a close-up I don't know some of you might have may have seen her uh, on my Facebook page but can you see her that's Arachne so it's an exoskeleton um, of a huntsman spider that Nick found <laughs> Nick brings me dead things I'm sure most of you know this if you've watched any of my videos before. And here is Pan. Look at him, isn't he beautiful? Lots and lots of energy and there's always workings. And there's Leo there. So, oh and the triple goddess. I don't know if, oh, here we go. So she's in Maiden at the moment. There's the mother. And then she goes to Crone. Love it. Triplicity. Tri Okay, I froze, I know. 
So then down on the bottom shelves, I have vessels that I harness and use for different things. Uh, there's a lot of rose resin. I sometimes just scatter resins and let them do their thing. Um, and here are all the oceanic um, shells and driftwood and pebbles and all the stuff that I use in workings. So it's got a shelf unto itself. Under here, if I can bring it out, we've got acorns and seeds and pebbles that I use. Oh my God, it's such a mess guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so you guys have probably seen pictures or if you've seen the video of me binding these herbs. So as I use them, like I'll pick off what I need. So here's some lavender and roses. Um, we've got, these are broccoli flowers. Uh, we've got some potato vine. What else? Oh, that's all that's on this one. So I'm going to move the thing. Move the thing. Okay. Changing the soundtrack. We've got bush playing. So <laughs> up here you can see a pona. Um, as you guys know, I'm a double sag. And so horses are very sacred to me. Um, so there's a star up there as well. There's Ken and us up on the wall. And we've got the resident uh, Witch's Cottage Witch up there and her sister, so they're sisters. I, she's more of my Earth Witch. And there's my Fire Witch up there. <laughs> oh my goodness. And they just watch over the space. They have actually spells tucked in them um, for protection and energy raising. And these are a few bits and bobs, you know. Sometimes I just give my students stuff, because I can. <laughs> and, oh, aren't these gorgeous? Can I just show you these? Fairy dust. Fairy dust, excuse my nails. I have not done my nails. But there's all the fairy dust in there, so they're spelled little fairy dust bottles. So if you, oh. okay. Now down here, this is like the longest tour in history. I'm sorry. Maybe I should do a two-parter or something. <laughs> okay, so down here, if you can see, I have my travel um, altar herbs. So I take this little suitcase with all my herbs so and my blends. So this is the Wolven Howl blend. This one is Blaze of a Southern Sky, so that's particularly for Australian workings, that the blend that I create. So it really works with the energies in this side of the hemisphere. Oh, I love Phoenix Rising too. Phoenix Rising, and you can see, like I've got lots of stuff in there. <laughs> All right, lock that up so the kids don't get into it. What else? Oh, now, I'm, look, I'm stuck. What's got me? Oh, Pineapple Sage has got me. So, more hanging herbs. Look at the herbs. <laughs> okay, now, over here, we have the Celtic altar. So, there is a lot of stuff on here. Um, Morrigan, obviously, she's front and centre. And you see that picture there? That's actually the tattoo on my back. I have that tattoo on my right shoulder so she's always on my right shoulder and it originally comes from I'm gonna whisk you up here it originally comes from this picture here if you can see her so I've got that tattoo hope I'm not going too fast I'm gonna go back to that altar oh I didn't show you up there <laughs> oh my god there's so much stuff guys like we'd be here a year okay so um, We've got Isis over there. We've got Osiris next to Isis. And Ganesha. And Nick paints all of these. Like, that's all Nick's artwork. Celtic is your jam, Nicky. Let's go back to the Celtic altar. <laughs> so, I work a lot of uh, draconian magic as well. And dragons really resonate uh, with me in the Celtic aspect. There's Kernanos, can you see him? He's gorgeous up there as well. Um, and we've got some uh, raven wings. Nick brings me dead things, I told you. Um, <laughs> so, so all that stuff. And then we go down to the Hindu altar. 
So you've got Lakshmi and Durga and Kali. There's Kali. And Shiva. And we've got an, another Ganesha in the back there as well. So all the workings, all the stuff. And then down here, I have all my skull bottles that I make blends in. Some of you may last year have gotten a Samhain um, brew in one of these skulls. And then all the candle supplies, which I'm running low on by the way, that is, I'm always running low on candles. Which problems? Which life problems? <laughs> right? Um, so, and then down here, look at the potato vine. I'm like, I'm so lazy, I'm just gonna put it on the ground and let it dry, because where am I gonna put it? Um, and then up here, oh, that was too, too fast, I'm sorry. Okay, oh, and there's, a, there's my big other cauldron down there and stuff I'm drying in here. <laughs> and let's go to all the herbs if I can close this door. <sighs> so nothing but the best for the gods. I actually offer the gods Pinot Noir <laughs> uh, when I'm filling up their chalices as offerings and then we've got like more chalices and lots of chalices and bottles and things and live now is in our soundtrack so there's bottles of rose water up there and these are more so these are all oils as well that I've made that I need but sporadically and these in here are the tinctures and oils current tinctures and oils and then um, Essential oils. I'm running low on essential oils too. <sighs> Gotta do a charge up of all the things. So these are all the mini jars, things that are easy to, to grab to hand. Like, you know, you can see you've got, what's this one? I can't even see, sandalwood. So that's red sandalwood, almonds, vetiver, jobs, tears, fennel, this is this all. Oh, Himalayan pink salt. There's dill in there. What is dragon's blood? I mean, it's just full. Like you, you can see. What? And then we go to the medium jars. <laughs> you get the gist, right, guys? You get the gist. But these ones are blends. These medium jars. So like we've got the candle mass blend and all the way through all the sabbats. We've got the manifest blend, which is like my most popular blend. Um, and then we've got, oh, what's a witch without some brimstone, right? <laughs> um, oh, and I left that jar open. So that's gum arabic. And then some more jars down there. Oh. Are you bored yet? <laughs> and then we go into, this is the storeroom in the witch's cottage. We're not going in there. There's like lots of stuff. Um, but it's a story where I keep a lot of different things as well and all the secret stuff um, So Here are the tumbled stones Like all the tumbled stones in the world are here that I use All the tumbled stones more tumbled stones And then these are just my little storage So I use like little test tubes and little tins and things froze again and then I've got some um, reusable plastic containers so I always reuse them okay this is I don't even know what this is this is another working space currently like uh, last I was using this space was working with uh, Hecate as you can see her keys on um, this was like not last night the night before so all the stuff and the things and my new mat I'm sure you've seen pictures of this on social media <laughs> it's like best because now my knees don't hurt when I kneel like it's a thing oh hello gold dust woman Okay, so up here you've got Nut up there, so that's Papyri up there, um, 
and I've got my Leah up there. That's really old. Can I just tell you? Look at it. I play that. I've got my sitar and my guitars as well, but they're not in this space. Um, so this is the Norse altar. So there's Thor. Thor, Thor, Thor. And Odin. And Freya. And we've got Skadi in there. Okay. How long has this been? This is like the longest live in history. Um, hang on. Okay. So this is also my working and blending altar. So you can see there's like stuff up on the wall as well. Reference materials. So it's one of the blends I'm currently working on. So that's charging up there. Yes, I have drawers full of feathers. That happens. <laughs> Even down here, like even under spaces, like I got all the scrolls and all the things. <sighs> Moving on to where I sit, you guys know I sit here and I talk to you here. <laughs> so, computers there, water bottle, vital to keep hydrated. Um, Jeff, the skull, is there as well. <laughs> Jeff sits by me all day, every day. I've got my uh, to hand tarot decks in the storage rooms there's another hundred of them but the ones that I use predominantly are in there the reading table have we done full circle I think we've done full circle look at that so we'll walk backwards and not hit an altar right Yes, we did. <laughs> and have a peek outside. It's gloomy and doomy outside at the moment. It's, it's like all gloom and doom. It's cloudy. Cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. Oh, yeah, and I've got sigils and things all over my windows. Sigils and symbols all over my windows. I love you. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to read your comments when I turn this off, okay? And then I'll press little hearts and little likes and stuff. So, mwah, I will see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye.